Okay, I'm just marking a patient here for lipo 12, and I thought it'd be a good time to explain. She's had previous lipo before, and so she wanted lipo again. I said, why would you like lipo again? And she wanted lipo again because she felt that her upper back was not adequately lipoed, and it probably was not particularly lipoed much at all. And, and this is really where the OG starts is high in the back. So whether I'm doing a BBL or whether I'm doing lipo, it's the same exact OG lipo. And it always starts high in the back. And so I think one of the reasons why she didn't really get this area lipoed, and you have to have this area lipoed because being part of the upper back, this is the concave part of the OG. So you have to get this. If you don't get the lipo here and you just lipo here, like look, there's really no fat here. So she had a lot of lipo in here, which is good for getting the transition between the back and the butt, but you're not going to get that nice silhouette and that nice OG shape unless you lipo this upper back. Now, the reason she probably didn't have this lipo is because you can see here was an incision for the lipo. Here was an incision for the lipo. Now, this is a lipo cannula and they're straight and they're, they're rigid. This one is fairly big. We don't always use this one, but for demonstration purposes, it's perfect. So if I just make an incision here, this is really where I can lipo to, but I can't get around these straight cannulas can't get around corners. So I always make an incision up here in order to be able to get the cannula to come into this area. And then I make, and I'm not going to turn her, but I make an incision in the front that will then allow me to get this area and this area. And I make an incision around here to be able to get this area as well. So I really kind of attack this area from, you know, one, two, three, four places so that we're getting all of this fat in here. You have to remember that when you do liposuction, so when I'm lipoing like this, okay, I'm creating the little pathways where I've removed fat. And it kind of reminds me of when I was, I don't know, early 20s, and I worked in an orchard for the summer, in a cherry orchard. It was, it was really, it was actually a lot of fun. But when I worked in that orchard, I had to mow the orchard. And I had to go in between all the rows of the big, huge cherry trees. And it, normally what they did is they would just go sort of up and down. And they would never do side to side because there were all these irrigation pipes. And the fellow that owned the orchard, I said to him, hey, do you mind if I go the other way as well? Because if we're just going up and down, you get these long strips of grass in between. And he said, well, you don't really need to, but... If you want to, it's up, it's up to you. So I did, I moved all these irrigation pipes. It was, I was a, a lot better shape then. And I moved all these irrigation pipes. It was 10 acres and I moved them the other way so that I could mow the other way. And so I was able to mow the orchard this way and I was able to mow the orchard that way. And it, it never looked better because it was so clean throughout the whole area. And it's really kind of the same thing when you do liposuction. We have to be able to lipo in this area, but then we're going to get those rows where the fat is removed. And so we also want to come at it from a 90 degree. So just like mowing in the orchard, I'm mowing this way and I'm mowing this way. And that's how you really get the fat adequately removed. But you just can't reach it through one incision here because of this straight. I mean, if I tried to lipo over here using this incision, I would have to go in through her lung and out the other side. And I was taught in plastic surgery school that you should not lipo the lungs. So that's the reason. So today we're gonna lipo all the upper back down here to the OG lipo.